Good morning and welcome to my channel. Uh, hold on one second. So there are a few things I wanted to talk about today. And, um, and this one is dealing with loss. And I started this video or I, um, one of these videos yesterday. So, and we were talking about, um, the loss, of uh, about a loss that I had yesterday. Um, so, and we were talking about denial, bargaining, anger, depression, and acceptance. Um, so the other thing is because there are five signs of loss but i wanted to add in the sixth one which is shock because when you find out a loss of something or someone um the first feeling you're gonna have is shock uh not knowing what to feel or how to feel about it and uh trying to figure out your thoughts and feelings of it because it's kind of like a surprise. It surprises you. Um, so that's where a shock comes in because, you, and then because most people, if they find out about something, they're shocked about it and they don't know what emotion to feel. And I do think that a lot of people do feel that, that, you know, they're shocked about it. They don't know what their emotions are on it. And it could be anything. It could be a loss in the family. It could be someone leaving. It could be someone moving away. Um, but there's a lot of shock involved. And then you go from shock to denial. Uh you don't want to believe that that person's gone. So you're going to want to deny it. Um, so, and that, um, at that point, it's very hard to figure out your emotions. You don't want to feel that emotion. So you're between shock, uh, find, finding out about something and you're going to be in shock about it. Plus you're going to be in denial. Like that person's not gone. You know, I refuse to believe that person's gone. So, um, you're going to be, in between that shock and the denial phase. Um, and I know that a lot of people do feel that. Um, I know I feel that uh, way sometimes. I know that that's going to be something that's going to be really hard and um, it weighs heavy on you. Um, so some people do feel that sh shock first and denial after. Um, so, and with me, um, for personal experience, I go through the shock phase and then I go through the denial phase and then I go through bargaining, uh, which is, um, uh, trying to process between all that stuff. And then, um, because bargaining, um, is something that you do and trying to bargain with that is, uh, I'm going to say, <laughs> I don't know. trying to process and deal with all that processing and all that. It's very hard to process, um, 
what's happening, what is going on. So you go from shock, denial, bargaining, and then the next phase is anger. You you have a lot of anger towards it. Um, you're mad at that person because that person's not there, or you're irritated, or you're you don't know what you're feeling, so you get all this hostility. Um, and it may not be towards that person. It may just be in general. Um, you have all that hostility, and uh, and then you got depression, which is sadness, and you know, like not wanting to do things, and then you got acceptance, which is okay. Now I've gone through all the emotions of grief. Now you know. I'm accepting that person is gone. But um, there are different signs and different stages of grief. And um, so it makes things really hard. So, uh, and me, uh, I go through the different stages of grief all the time, but um, uh, not all the time, but, uh, you'll get what I mean. Uh, with me, it's shock. Cause I added the sixth one there as shock because like I said, a lot of people do experience shock when they get news. Uh, when they find out, uh, they lost a person. So they're in shock one minute because Shock is you don't know how to feel or you don't know what your your emotions are when you find out about that person. And then you're in denial. Okay, someone's, it's a lie. It's not true. You know, this isn't happening. You know, so there are, like I said, there are different types of emotions and there are different types of loss, you know, it doesn't mean that per person died, the person died, person could have moved away, um, sorry, my throat's getting dry, um, so there's all kinds of different types of loss and I would like to get into that because there's uh, you know you may have a friend that would have moved away that you may have had you know co-workers that you worked with that may have moved to a different company you may have people that uh, family members that you've had for a long time that may have moved someplace else. I mean, there's all different types of loss, you know, and there's different ways of dealing with that loss. Like, uh, like for me, like just recently, uh, we had a loss of the family. So, um, right now I am dealing with that loss. And right now, my um, emotions are right now that I'm between that shock and denial phase right now. Like, I I don't know how to feel right now. My emotions are um, kind of in that shock phase. Like, how do I feel about it? Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be feeling about it right now. So... And once I get out of that shock phase, I'm probably going to be going to the denial phase because um, those two phases are kind of together. Um, the shock, the denial. Um, I sometimes get bargaining and I go to anger, depression, and acceptance, but 
I mean, everyone, every person is different in the phases. And uh, so, but right now, for me, I'm between that shock and um, uh, the denial phase right now. Like, like I said, my emotions are that I don't know how to feel about this. And my denial is that, you know, I want to believe that it was just a rumor, that it's not, not happening. But I know it's happening because I saw it with my own eyes. But... I don't want to believe it, and that's the hard part. So, um, but it's, uh, but I would like to talk about loss, and I would like to talk about uh, the different stages and more. I would like to talk about this topic more because, um, uh, I know that um, with a lot of my um, videos, I talk about a lot of stuff, but um, loss is part of it. People do go through loss, and I want to add um, that in there because this is a peer support page, and I would like to provide support to people and a loss is part of it people do lose things like people do lose people you know apartments um they do lose a lot of stuff and there there's different ways to deal with that and i would like to deal with that as well and i would like to help with that if i can I mean, I can't do much, but there are, you know, for myself, for example, like I said, I am dealing with a loss right now. And so, like I said, right now, I'm between the shock phase and the denial phase. But I will video my different types of phases. So I'm in shock and denial right now. But, um, but I would like to talk about loss because like I said, it is a big part of life and some people may not be able to deal with or handle loss. That's part of the reason why I want to make a video about it so that people know that they're not the only ones dealing with loss and all that stuff. But right now, I'm going to cut this video uh, for right now. I don't want this video to get too long, but I am going to make, an, I'm going to do another video on this. So I'm going to be doing different types of videos on this particular subject and on different types of losses and I do want people to chime in and let me know what their thoughts are. I do want people to let me know if they lost somebody, like how they dealt with that. Um how do the how do you guys think I should uh deal with things uh if you want me to um uh, what kinds of uh things that you want topics that you want me to talk about on this subject um any questions comments let me know if there's a way that i can do this video better let me know if there's something some things that you want me to talk about here on here that you having a hard time talking about let me know what your thoughts are let me know your story um and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I am an open book. Let me know, and I will be gladly to answer those for you. 
Um, okay. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button, and I will get back to you. Thanks. Bye.